If Zika fears have you rethinking your 4th of July plans, a local infectious disease specialist says don't. To convince you he is putting the risk into perspective, as KXAN's Lauren Landman found out, it's extremely low. As Texas continues to heat up, more people are making their way outdoors. But the Zika virus making headlines across the nation has many concerned. What if it doesn't go away and like we're the next generation? Both Hannah and Sydney say they learned all about it in their high school biology class through newspaper articles. She brought Zika one day and she would keep bringing papers and we were like, this isn't, this isn't a big deal. And then it kept getting bigger and yeah. bigger and we were like, and this, is we were a, started to worry. this is a big what? deal. <laughs> so it's just a unique characteristic. Rodney Rohde, an infectious disease specialist, says it's serious, but likely not something you will ever experience. In all practical purposes, you know, you could walk out the door and you have a greater chance of having an accident on I-35. You have a much greater chance of getting the flu virus this year. So far, the virus hasn't been found in mosquitoes here in the United States, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't protect yourself. Dr. Rohde says rather than being fearful, it's best to be educated. Be aware enough to that you should know to seek attention, medical attention, if you have anything weird going on with symptoms or if things worsen. The symptoms of Zika are mild, fever, rash, or joint pain. Hannah and Sydney say even though catching the virus is unlikely, it's taught them to be more mindful of their surroundings. Reporting in San Marcos, Lauren Landman, KXAN News. Texas has had 48 reported cases of Zika. 47 were from travelers infected abroad and diagnosed after they returned home to Texas. One acquired the infection from sexual contact with someone who got it while traveling.